now continuing with the previous module of a database server side programming server side programming let's go into more details of what is there at the server side programming so what we'll cover in this module is as follows http server apis and server modules i will tell you what they are and this, what are the server vendor modules everything is happening at the server end and what are the advantages what are the issues and finally the proprietary http servers this is what we're talking about is the server side programming remember prior we also spoke about the client side programming so what are server apis they are like the server equivalent of browser extensions what the browser extensions did browser is at the client end right presentation layer so what it did it added functionality to the client to the browser and http server apis and modules they add functionality at the server end right but unlike cgi coexists with the server remember cgi has separate namespace separate address space but since they are server modules so they don't have to be separate they use the same address space and because of the using the same address space it results in space optimization also and is dynamic linking instead of separate processes why because these belong to the server and one copy is loaded and shared one copy is loaded and shared it means it saves the space also why because it is the server modules http server apis that is the benefit okay server vendor modules prefabricated application in server api prefabricated so you want it you either pay for it or you get a license depending upon and the required functionality is present you don't have to write anything now the the advantage of these uh, server modules is that you don't have to install them at the client end there are many many clients hundreds and thousands of clients everything is happening at the server end and very large number is commercially available so if you have the money to pay then you can buy them add the functionality add the features make your application powerful for example plsql procedural language sql query language structured query language okay so it is there so you pay for it and you can run loops and all those things which are not there in sql so these are the server vendor modules you pay them and you have it on the server what are the advantages server speed because they are native they are native and but and this resource sharing is there save the memory and the range of functionality authentication method encryption method and customized logging because of customized logging what happens that it gives you powerful facility for the log analysis and with log analysis you can see what your visitors have been doing where they have been going how long they have spent at where and so on so these are the benefits of having these server modules and but there are some issues also server architecture dependence usually if uh, they belong to a certain ecosystem i would not like to name any company they are going to work with it and they also have this platform independence also so if they are working for a certain vendor and uh, you adopt it and later you change you have to be careful today because when you make the change there is this architecture dependence there is the platform dependence also over there so you have to be careful that what is happening working for you today uh, because of certain issues because of certain requirements of performance or of your customer you have to move then these things become an issue and there is the programming language variety also which is kind of beneficial so for the proprietary http servers not common or available http servers the functionality which you are looking for specialized functionality for example if you case uh, our ibm ibm example they have these proprietary servers for lotus nodes and oracle has it for backend databases 
and hyper G is for certain links. So that specialized functionality is there in the proprietary HTTP servers. Okay, and if it's not there, you may be able to write it for that particular environment. So point is that if you are not uh, using Lotus Notes and you have something equivalent to Lotus Notes, okay, then then you have maybe have to write it or buy it for somewhere else. So what are the objectives? Customized and specialized needs. Okay, and of course it need to have the facility and ability to provide it at performance. And remember the shortcoming is the exclusive tie, which I have already mentioned. The tie is that you get tied to a certain ecosystem, you get tied to a certain technology, you get tied to a certain data format, you get tied to certain protocols and you are fine, you get accustomed to it and tomorrow you need to port, then is the problem. So you have to think carefully today what you will be doing tomorrow to make the right decision. That is why you are taking this course. Thank you very much.